Cobra's international credentials. Got him headline billing on Reggae Sumfest. A new lady in dancehall is said to be burning up the global dancehall space right now, and she will be here. And who is the new gauge? All coming up, plus this week's C News reviews and more. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be right back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. And it's time now for stories making our e news and reviews this week. I just got started. Released three months ago, Aishana's equal rights and the controversy and conversation it generates is seemingly not going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, the track has become the song of reference for any song, either pro or against reciprocity, in the bedroom. On Friday, August 11, Vanessa Bling released a raunchy track called Beer Clown, hitting out against everything that equal rights is about. Some are calling it an Aishana diss track. Some have come out against the song, while some are are for it. No surprise here, Futa Hype is a fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is pretty much unanimous. Yeah, yeah by Idonia is the song of summer 2017, a must play for DJs all around the space. But aside from the overall good party vibe that the song is supporting, it seems to be also generating sheer madness. <laughs> This video surfaced online recently and is one of the most shared videos of the week. A bus conductor said to be called Breadback hanging from a moving bus while Idonia's track can be heard blasting from the speakers. Some are outraged, some see it as a sheer comedy, but the police don't find it funny at all and have launched an investigation into the incident. Over the years, Jamaican pageants have had their fair share of controversy, from the Browning issue to who eventually wins the crown. This week, Miss Jamaica World was in the spotlight when Shanique Williams, who was co-accused and this year acquitted on sex crimes, was chosen as a finalist in the pageant. After public outrage on social media, with even former Miss World and Member of Parliament Lisa Hanna weighing in, MJW decided to remove Shanika from the competition. When it comes to big albums from Jamaican artists, the two biggest out right now are Chronology from Chronix and Junior Gong's just released Stony Hill. Both are receiving rave reviews, with songs like Likes and Skanking Sweet emerging as favorites for Chronix. While tracks like Medication, Roar, and Grown and Sexy are carrying the swing for the gong. I know the whole of them are by shares. Quite a few Jamaicans are doing it big on the international scene, from high profile performances to tours. Tomorrow, the Roy Wilkins Park in Queens, New York, will come alive with ESIP's Music Festival, featuring names like Elephant Man, Queen Africa, and the highly anticipated Alkaline. Next week in Atlanta, on Ruli Boss Popcorn, will be a part of an elite team representing Jamaica for the Red Bull Culture Clash. <laughs> While Beres Hammond just wrapped up a 21 stop <laughs> North American tour. His son King Ferno, who was also a part of the tour, gives us the details. Excellent. I mean, it was a bit hectic, but um, we, at, at, there's points in time where we had five shows six shows in a row but um, besides that sell out audiences and um, just great performances both from Mr. Hammond and his daughter the wizard and of course you know I have to put my two cents in. The ultimate retro dance party comes to summer and among the A-list DJs on the lineup King Ferno himself. Impressions once again you yeah. know and I'm very, you know, honored to be a part of this because the first event that I did with Impressions, I, need, I really didn't know what to expect. But when I saw the turnout and the energy and the, the type of music that was played at this event and the reaction with the crowd as there, I was like, mm -mm, I have to be a part of this every year. So, you know, every single time, if I'm available, I'm there. <laughs> 
Impressions, the 90s 2Ks edition, next Saturday, August 26th at Jewels Resort, Portmore. All right, so we're looking forward to you coming out and making your impressions on the dance floor. And uh, stick and stay right here on stage still to come. How the Mad Cobra's international credentials got him on Reggae Sunfest. Cobra will be here. A new lady in dancehall is said to be burning up the global dancehall space. And she will be here. Who is the new Gage? Gage will also be here. We'll be back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. In just two years, she has moved from an ordinary girl in St. Catherine to one of the most copied, followed, and sought-after dancers in the global dancehall space as she posits her rebelliousness on dancehall tracks like these. Her parents named her Christina Nelson, but she's best known as the Dancing Rebel. Right now, right here on our stage. Hi, Dancing Mr. Rebel. Williams. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome. Yes. All right. So, just sum up your 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 rise and uh, and achievements so far for us. Okay. So, I was living in the country mm -hmm. in Old Arbor, and I started working from an early age, but my heart was always to be a dancer. So I came to Kingston not knowing where I would have to stay, who am I going to stay with, and what is going to be my next step. I was in Dancing Dynamites, and Jenny Jenny sent me to a video shoot one day. That's where I met uh, some friends. I met Triple X, and he told me about an audition at Brownstone Marketing and Entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, that company covers flow, no cause lime, whatever. Yeah. Um, I started working with them from age 17, where I became a promo dancer. And from there on, I was back and forth from Old Arbor to Kingston, and it became so rough. Um, it worked out that we started getting enough money. So I rented a small place, and that's where it all started. Um, and you're at 17? At 17. Okay. I went to the Uptown Mondays one night. The song Siva was playing. Remember, nobody knew this country girl. And Boom Boom said, who is that slim girl? Go on the balcony. So that's where I get the highlight, and I was posted all over Instagram and stuff like that. Um, I've been in various amount of dance groups. I've been through it. I'm still in Outshine Girls, but now I'm proud to say I'm also a part of the Team Spice. Team Spice? Yes. Isn't that what catapulted you to international fame? Yes. Uh, it helped me. I also, I used to market myself. That's where I get my first European tour. Then when I joined Team Spice, the markets get gets better because I became more professional. I started seeing things differently. I started to know my worth and stuff like that. And thanks to Spice, I've been all over the Caribbean. I'm going to England next week, Friday. And from England, I'm going to Spain to teach classes and stuff like that. All right, let's take a, a quick, we put together a little a little reel of some of your dance moves. Okay. So let's take it right here. Everything shot. Everything shot. Tomorrow I'm calling sick. I just might quit. Let tomorrow worry about itself. Right now, I'm just lit. Me done pass me limit. But you know, so me now stop sick. 
If it's winning, I'm willing. This night's so thrilling, I'm feeling too legit. The man I say me smell good between the sheets. Me nah no odor, nah no stinking underneath. Broke off your back, broke off your back, broke off your, broke off your, broke off your back. If you broke off your back, broke off your back, broke off your, broke off your, broke off your back. Girl, you know you got the glue, know you got the glue, know you got the glue. Okay, so that's a, a little taste of her, her moves. But um, how much that work is really your own yes. creation? Yes, it is. Well, some of it, most of it, I get classes because of steps that I have created. Mm. So I get to earn from it. Creating steps is important to me because if I don't create, I can't eat. Okay. I want to kind of go back to your roots yeah. in Old Harbor. And when you yeah. took the decision to come to Kingston at 17, and uh, what, was, what was it about dance? What were you doing about it at that point? Uh, it sounds like you were saying that you couldn't resist the, the urge to dance. Yeah, I couldn't resist it. I got through for the University of the West Indies. Mm -hmm. I got through for UTEC. I didn't want to go. <clears throat> My parents didn't believe in dancing. Dancing is not a career. I got through for those university and I didn't even once mention it because I wanted to go to the Edna Manley and they didn't want to send me because dancing was not a career if you're not a doctor, if you're not a teacher, a nurse. So you went again to your parents' yes, wishes? Yes, I did. And where's the relationship now? No, they realize that dancers are diamonds and we are important and you can earn so from you that got, thing. So you got accepted in yes. UWI? Yes. And UTEC? Yes. Quietly. You kept it to yourself. You didn't tell your parents? No, I didn't. Because you want to pursue a career in dance. Yes. And you thought um, school of dance was better. Was better. Yes. To go. Yes. Dance at Edna Manley is academic mm -hmm. and also uh, yeah. dancing. Yeah. Uh, actual dancing. So, so, so couldn't you make the case to, to them? No matter what I said, no matter what I did, it was no form of importance. They did not care. Okay. But now my mother understands why I wanted to do it. Yes, but yes, so that's what I want to get to. Yeah. Why did you want to do it so much because that you would, you would go against your parents to get it, to do it? I loved it. I was born to dance, and it makes Were me... you always dancing at home? Yeah, and you, she knew that. She knew that? Yes. And you danced in the community? Not, not Old yet. Harbor? Yes, in Old Harbor. And on little concerts and yes. so? Yes. Uh, but what is, what is it called? Bandwagons and Christmas Boxing Days, stuff like that. It makes no sense. You're going to university to do hospitality and tourism management, mm -hmm. and you have no love for food. Mm -hmm. So it, I would not concentrate. I would not do it. I knew it, and I would just waste their money. So have you given up on going to, to Edna Manley? I you would wa still, I still want, want to, to pursue? I still want a certificate. You want to be certified? Yes. Okay, so okay, so that's outstanding, and yes. you're still pursuing that. Yes. I take it. So, in t <coughs> how old are you now? I'm May 22. 22 now. You've garnered fans all over the world. Yes. How did that happen? Say you're Winford, and you have a, a workshop called Dazzle Them, and you see Rebel on Instagram, and you want to book her to teach your students. That's how it goes. So you're truly the hot girl right now, as it relates to dance or moves. Ish. Kinda ish. <laughs> yeah. so one of you're one of the yes. the frontline women in yes. in that sphere right. That do now. both. Doing both. So so okay. So you is that lucrative to to be a dance teacher, teaching dance to foreigners? Yes, it is. I mean, you have, you can earn from it, but you have to be smart. If you're not educated, you can lose big time, and people will use you. Okay. That's the thing that some of these dancers do not understand. They see people teaching classes and they don't understand. Because I have met a lot of people that has 
came here and said, Rebel, I have $1,500, and I would want two hours with you. And I said, no, you can't tell me what you want to pay me. You ask me my price, and we negotiate with these other dancers because they want the fast fame. They will see people flying to Europe, so they want that. They don't market their self. So at the end of the day, they are water down dance hall, they are water down themselves, and the culture soon dead out, and we soon have nothing left. So you're, you're serious about taking charge and, and help to prevent that from yes, happening? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And to earn from it? Yes. All right. So you're aiming where with this? I want to go as big as it, as it gets. I, I don't want to stop. My dream was to always open one of the biggest dance studios in Jamaica. I want to help other dancers. I would want to help groom them into knowing what to do and the steps to take and how to make them a better dancer, business-wise and dancing-wise. You sound like you're already a 22-year-old um, dancing rebel. Yes. And you sound ready for this, not, not just um, in terms of your, your ability to dance, but you and what I'm, I'm, I am impressed with the fact that you are looking be, behind yes. dance yeah. and seeing the business of dancing the and business. understanding the business of entertainment. Yes, sir. And you're very serious and focused. That is impressive. Thank you. I commend you. And I look forward to covering you. And we want you back here on our stage okay. to give more inspiration to young people in Jamaica. Yes. Girls and guys about their craft. So what we're going to do now is to clear the stage and give you to give us some of your moves to the break. Is that okay? Yes, that is okay. Gucci low fast with a tough top. Money no fickle thicker than a blood clot. Who you know? Come a belly with a touch back. When a bad sound clear, we say pull it up back. Everybody shout. Yeah, 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 He released this track three years ago, and it is still his biggest song to date. With the controversy generated by Aishana's Equal Rights, the track gained renewed relevance as pro-equal rights supporters often reference the song in their promotion of reciprocity in the bedroom. But the man behind the music is trying desperately to not only diminish the importance of this track, in his catalog, he's also re-imaging himself as a more rounded and wholesome artist and person. And some of that, of course, is also physical. His real name is Ryan Douglas, but you know him as Gage. Right now, right here on our stage. Gage, sir. Blessed love. Welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, you know, good to be here, you know. Nice. Always a pleasure. All right, so where are you on this equal rights issue? Well, you know, honestly, I'm not on it, though. I don't think I'm on it, none at all, you know. You're not on the issue? No, I'm not. You don't have it. an opinion on it? No, you know, Winford, I mean, I did a song, mm -hmm. I Shana did a song, and I mean, people are going to bash me about my one, they're going to bash you about your one. I really don't respond about your song. Who bashed you most about yours, men or women? I would say women, you know. Women bashed yeah. you for it? Yeah, and elders. That's because it, they feel what? That it was not, that men are not reciprocating what your song was talking about? Or is it because they think it's demeaning women? Well, I mean, I think they thought it was demeaning women, you know what I mean? Yeah, they mm -hmm. think I was disrespecting women. I don't know why. It was just a song, it was just an art. A lot of people feel for that might be because of the stage performance and the way females usually behave. Yes. You know what I mean? So a lot of people would think, say, yeah, gauge that, so. Yeah, so they just bash me for that one day. So what has it done for you, apart from the trouble? Mm -hmm. It made me fly to places. I did a lot of shows. 
get a lot of exposure in the artist world, exposure is needed, and it did just that. So I would think it did well, you know. Okay, so why do you want to diminish its importance in your uh, catalog? And put in it, the, put yeah. it this way, you know, Mr. Williams. Um, I have other songs. Yes. You know what I mean? People feel for understand, say, to me, to me right now, that was just a topic. I passed through a lot of topics. That was just one of them. Mm -hmm. And I mean, something I really want you to tag gauge to that. Our label gauge as a type of artist are only going to sing those kind of songs. And I mean, so, I not try to draw people from it or do anything to it. It's music. Okay. But what I try to do is show them, say, I have other music. Yes. And I mean, and it was just art. Simple. Okay, so, but, but you, yeah, I think you should be careful, my little advice here. Sure. About how you do that, because I think it, the onus is really upon you to redefine yourself. True. And, and you should do that by yourself. I, I mean, if you talk to people about don't say or how to say or what to say, they probably will be saying it more. So I think that you need to do things that redefine you or define you, who you really are, a little better. Uh, because that song is so big, people normally, when a song is that big in of us, it's true. going to help to define who you are somewhat. And it's just part of the course. So your challenge right now is to, is to do what you, you claim to want to do, to redefine yourself as a more wholesome and rounded artist and person. So what are you doing to, to achieve that? Well, right now, no, Winford, um, I put out a song like Family, sung by the name of Wish. I think I was here last year premiering that song. Um, I have another song by the name of Awaken. Just put it that way. Mm -hmm. Just to show them that there is different levels to the music. You know what I mean? Dance all, it can go further than where it stops. Yes. You know I mean? And in order for it go further than where it stops, you have young artists and you have, you have the young artists, them like we were in the thing. And if you go bash me because of that, you don't know what I have in me. You don't know the potential what I have. So just make sure it be a painting on the wall. So I go down in the record and listen for the rest. Okay, so yeah. so don't close don't close your case with throat. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, sir, I, I I have no doubt that you're bigger than one song. Yeah. But talk about the elephant in the room. You you're looking different now. <laughs> you're black again. Yeah. You're your real again. complexion <laughs> again, Gage. Sure. Um how did, was this achieved and why? Oh, it was achieved by stop bleaching. But why? Uh, <laughs> but why it was achieved? It, uh, sim it is as simple as that. You just stop the bleaching? Yeah, simple. Yeah, man. But um, the why now, really and truly, Winford, as I said from previous and previous interviews, yes. we never did stop bleach for come out and impress people or do anything like that. We just stop because me just want to stop. To me, it's just boring. I just fed up a bleaching. Simple. Uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you talked about the bashing from the throat song. True. How about the bashing from the bleaching? Was it, was it as bad? Which was worse? Well, I mean, we are artists, you know, and I mean, anything we do, we are going to get bashed. But the comparison there you now, I think throat was worse, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because a lot of Jamaicans bleach, right? So I think throat was worse. Yeah, I've even bleached as we did a bash my about throat. As mm -hmm. far as the image is concerned, yes. I just feel like I mean this, you know. I don't really feel like I don't know, image nothing. I just mean this, you know. And you, and it, they, your fans and, and people generally, are yeah. they, what are they saying now? Are they commend you, uh, commending you for doing it? Or they don't care or what? What's the response? Yeah, man, the fans, them love it, man. Yeah, man they I, like you this way? Yeah, man, they like me this way. Them love me, them love me this way. I think I'm they lying. love you this way, yeah, but this liked way. you uh, when you were bleaching. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's good news for people like us, you know, we, we, th who one. didn't do this. <laughs> no, we, we feel good somewhere. We yeah. get some props for being ourselves. That's cool, <laughs> Hello? <Yeah. laughs> anyway. Sure. All right. So it, it, it sounds like, well, so, so you say you have a number of uh, records that you, you're putting out and yes. so is it now a new a new direction for you overall would you say that a new direction with your career to me certain topic is played out and I mean uncertain topic that repeat over and over again and I mean now say I can't take up something and dust it or polish it and it, it again and I mean but mm. I just want to find all of them topics there where artists been missing over the years and feel so, like I do that sounds like you're more introspective yes you're 
bigger thinker now than before? Is, is that true? I think deeper thinker. A deeper yeah. thinker now? Yeah. Is this a spiritual awakening you, you, phase you're in? Um, no, no. No? No, no, not really. I just I put it away in for. I am on a platform, you know? mm -hmm. and I mean, people are going to hear what my office say. You know what I mean? And my time on my office right now, I just want to use it to set a nice platform. Mm -hmm. Set up nice, that means when you engage in your mention, you have a whole lot of good things. You see, a whole lot of good songs, a whole lot of things were there. I come here to do it, and that's just what I want right now. You had comments about Ganja on the train, I think. I think if, I'm uh, paraphrasing here. That train left us Jamaicans as far as yeah. the, 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 the ganja legalization and the, and the industry that it ought to be, should have started to be now in Jamaica. What's, what, what exactly are you, are you saying? Um, what may I say exactly, Winford? We, we grow the best, you know what I mean? The best ganja, the best weed, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It and cigarette basically do the same thing. From 19 or long from Wapi Kill Philip, you ban weed but you never ban cigarette. You know what I mean? So when the Canadians demand everybody come now and take it up and I go run with it, of course you're gonna miss out. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna miss out because uh, our product, it grew a lot of places, but we grow one of the best. Mm -hmm. People love our stuff, you know what I mean? And it takes other people to realize and recognize that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you miss out. That is something you see. We miss out, but uh, is it too late? Because you said the train seemed to be, the train left us. Is that your correct? Is, yes, is that what yes, you said? Yes, that's what I, that's so, what I said. Isn't that suggesting that we can't, because we can't, yes. we can't get back on? Yes, I might be assured rethink that statement, but the government must have to have a night, you know what I mean? They must have to go around and the farmers, they must have to come together and do what they have to do, mm -hmm. ensure say, the product go there. If you're not going to do that, it not going to make no sense. If the government not going to onboard, it not going to make no sense. So do you know whether it's the government or the, the farmers, the private enterprises that are not ready or I don't think it's the what? farmers, it, you know. Clearly, I don't think it's the farmers, you know I mean? The farmers, them now have not even 1%. They are they ready, aren't they? Of course. They've always been doing it. Of course. So why them not already know about, I mean, when I say government, I don't point on one man. I don't point on everybody will fall in the bracket there. We we'll have a saying on any, anything we we'll go on. You know what I mean? Who for pass the law, who for do this? The government talking, the whole body of them. Yes. You know what I mean? We must come together and sort out the thing because unless the law pass, unless that go on, the field is going to get burned down, see me? Mm -hmm. And we are going to miss up. I agree with you 100% about urgency, <laughs> bringing some, a sense of urgency to this matter because sure. As you, as you rightly say, it, tons of people everywhere else. Right, and and they're further. quietly, especially our, our northern neighbors, True. the big giant. Right, I've been to Europe. Yes. And you can go at like a vending machine and put in a kind and select which one of them I want. And yeah. just drop out. For social consumption. We're not eating. For recreational. <laughs> We're not eating. And yeah, but even for medical, we can't yeah. even say, legalize you know I mean? it. And that is stupid. To me, that is just stupid because we have it. Mm. It good, so why are you going to burn it up? All right, boss. So are you getting bookings? Are you? Yes, you know. Yes? Um, I have a show in Portland, October the 9th. I have a show in Guyana. And I'll be going to um, England in December. Mm -hmm. I think I have three shows in England, so I'll be in England. Is you still big in Trinidad and Tobago? Yes, man. I, I was in Trinidad, I think, a week ago or two weeks ago. You know. mm -hmm. did about five shows over there, and it was... It was nice. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Gonna, I get <laughs> no, the, no, that is Trinidad. I get the feedback that you are. Yeah, man, Trinidad like, love music. Like, yeah, me like Trinidad because we have to get, you know, Trinidad is a set of people where them love music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Them love the culture, them take the culture, them, them love it. Yes. Yeah, so you have to love that. Respect who respect we. Well, it's good you're love. saying that. And, yes. and that is a, a message that we want to hear more and more from Jamaicans. Yes. The fight, them are really not see it. I don't know. Might be the bigger heads, them have an issue, okay. but I don't think we're the exactly people have an issue. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's where it is. Yeah. I think it's Simple. Uh, private, private interest and special yes. interest. Yes, I don't think it's... Them using the people True. To, to have differences with one another. True. Which are totally... Yeah. Um, Rubbish. Unjustified. Stupidness. I, I think it totally is, and that's what yeah. we all should do. Are the people of Trinidad should ignore them and vice versa, and, and stop getting you know, caught the up people, in the foolishness. The people them do that, you know. And I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, 
But Trinidadians and Jamaican, we ignore that, man. So as I say, I don't see it. Fair. Because when I go to this stage show, half of the on this stage show a book, we come from Jamaica. Okay. You know what I mean? And a lot of them are going to come and tell you the same thing if I ask. Yes, so simple. Well, Gage. Respect, my boss. Okay, sir, we like to switch from deep throat to deep <laughs> thinking. You know, that's good a switch. Good line. We love that. <laughs> All right, sir. So there you have him right here in the segment, the Gage of Dancehall. Stay with us. Still to come, the Mad Cobra. You don't want to miss that. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. In their bid to internationalize Reggae Sound Fest under the new mantra, our music, our festival. The Mad Cobra was one of the dancehall internationals strategically placed on night two to deliver an international performance. And that the Flex DJ did with great ease. But given the Cobra's rather low profile in Jamaica for years now, it is reasonable to assume that some young dancehall fans may not have been acquainted with Cobra's international credentials. So here goes. In the early 1990s, Matt Cobra was only the second dancehall artist in the genre's history to get signed by a major label. That label was Columbia Records, under which Cobra also became one of the first to break into the international mainstream. Topping US rap singles chart, hitting number seven on the R&B, and peaking at number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100 with this single. From the album, Hard to Wet, Easy to Dry. So now you know the Mad Cobra right now, right here on our stage. Mad Cobra, Cobra sir. Back Blessed back love, sir. Congratulations. Yeah, man. On the Sunfest appearance yeah, and, pleasure. and performance. Yeah. What's your, what, what was it for you? Well, they won't get too ready, so. Anyway, I'm glad to did it. Yes. See? Because I'm not going to burn them out and I'm not going to worry, but I want more time. You wanted more time? Time. Okay. Because what we agreed on, you know, is 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. But you don't know, you know, other artists was added to the bill. So, you know, the time cut down, them take off a five minute because the man, they come, them take off the next five minutes. Yes. But um, I went out there, you know, to, where do I call it now? Remind. Yes. Remind who was, was in that genre of music or in that age group who yes. know Cobra from the 90s. And the new fans, them who are listening to me from Tita Pool or Body Set of People or before that. So how much do you care that young people, mm -hmm. some young people, mm -hmm. don't know about your international credentials? Well, does it bother you? No. Are you conscious no, of it? No, no. It, it doesn't bother me a minute. Mm -hmm. Reasons being... Um, but just a maintain. Yes. Maintain. Done my work, you know, put the music out there. One of the pioneers, mm -hmm. you know, go out there and I do my thing. And whenever I'm called, whether locally or internationally, mm -hmm. because my book up now for the young youth, them where I run the thing right now, a foreign. Yes. And my piece mad. See, so the young youth, them, because even you find some youth to say, them think Tita Pool, my first song. Mm -hmm. You know, and body set of people, them things said, you know, or press chica from 205 or whatsoever. But sometimes you're there some place at DJ and say, I him they do that song there. I him they do re, re, re. But you know, you're grateful. Yes. Zin, and you have some youths who do them homework. Come me say, me, me in a place and say, I'll 15, 16 year old run up to me. Can't take a picture with you, re, re, re. I say, hey, my mommy talk about you and re, re, re. And I, you know, them do them research. So, so you, you were part of the, mm -hmm. the pioneering group of that little group of yeah. elite artists, yourself, yeah. the Shabarangs, Patra, yeah. mm -hmm. Richie so, Stevens, Richie Stevens mm -hmm. and so on, who Good were job. signed mm -hmm. and were now getting mainstream exposure mm -hmm. at the turn of the 90s. Yeah. And so dance and, and the labels, oh, a yeah. lot of them were in Jamaica now, yeah. scouting, scouting for talent. Yeah. 
And, and this is hard for some of the youngsters in dancehall to understand because mm. some of them, some of what Missy them are, are celebrate and I go like it's a big achievement were achieved by guys like you, Cabra, yeah. in the 90s. So in your view, when you look at dancehall now, yeah, no. and where you guys had it in the, at the turn of the 90s, 90s, do you think the ball was dropped or is it doing what, it, what was projected? I took off my glass. The youth them my work. Mm -hmm. The youth them my work because when they listen material, materials um, from the 90s coming up. People say that you know, the 90s dance all bad. Yes, because 90s dance all with the more hungry. Yes. It's a hunger and you, you, we have, um, you call it the, the, the horizons was out there. And we say, yo, we want to get across this boundary, get across this boundary. Because sometimes we go some places and people say, what kind of music are you guys doing? You know? And them, the patois, the mm -hmm. dialect, mm -hmm. what at the time was kind of hard. Because people say, what is he saying about them dance to the energy? Yes. No, it is less energy. You have few that have the energy. Because people don't really know what is patwa mm -hmm. or broken English or whatsoever. But them dance to what we have to offer. Yes. My only problem with me is sometimes with this um, wouldn't say generation rather, mm -hmm. which includes producers, we tend to go in more to try to get hip hop ready man ray ray ray. The hip hop folks are taking our hardcore and mm. putting it to their things. We are trying to put our things. You're doing the opposite. Right. So you see, when I, we go the aggressive and ray, 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 just notice a song them where them take a sample and rear some dark song where aggressive and a push dance hall. Mm -hmm. The message is right now in dance hall. Back in the 90s, the lyrics them did ray and this and that, but the youth them now, them step up more and the metaphors, the similes, mm -hmm. the puns, the whatsoever. So them set things and get away with it. Back in the 90s, when I run a risk. Yes. Run a risk, and me run a couple of risks and get away with it. Other man run a risk and get away with it. Now the youth them say it in our way and them get through with it easy. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's easier now. Easier now. The, and the ball not drop. Me see work out. They have some money. So say, drop, why are they drop. not being signed to, to major labels? Why are Marketing. they using... Marketing. Why are they using yeah. Justin Bieber, Drake, Rihanna, yeah. you name the big brands. I'm gonna to say it do again. dance up. I'm going to say it again. Yes. Marketing. Marketing. Yeah, marketing. It's some... Lack it's of marketing? Marketing. You see, when no matter about YouTube and Ray, 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 and send this, and send this, it not really works. So you have to market. You have, it have to go in front of them. They have to see it. Put it in them face. Some people, go, some people buy views. Yes. And them things in the work. I mean, look and say, oh, so, see, it just dropped on a, on a, on a 500,000 and Ray, 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 Ray. It just got there, so. But you see, the smart people, they have the people who know for market the music. They get it here, there, everywhere. Some people just think about YouTube and try to get Vivo, Vivo account, and they really work in marketing. Okay, but it still doesn't answer the question, Cabra. Mm -hmm. Why do they prefer, the major labels, prefer to the, the dancehall taste, the yeah. music, the concept? They, yeah. they, the palette for it yeah. is is as global as anything else. You're right. Because we see it being used in top 40. It's all over top 40 right, right now. And we're not seeing Jamaicans facing it, fronting that incursion in the mainstream. And I'm saying it isn't talent, in my view. It is something else. That may I tell you, the now market, all right, you do a song with bad. Mm. So you do a song with bad and it'll get some views and it'll rare and it, it, it'll yeah. get so rare. It's when you go, if you go DJ the song, the song when you go out there. So deliver the song. They deliver. You see the marketing. Some men are those streets here and put out on the gear. So when them go out there for market, their brand. In the flesh. In the flesh. Yes. So it's when them go there now and them rare, rare, rare. Them go to DJ the song and wait too long. Pull up. Mm -hmm. Dash. So you see that energy. Oh, your sound. Pan your record. You feel sound so in person. Okay. So you see that the marketing them. Not only if you try to put it out there. I said to me. The person. So you, you're, you're injecting the marketing in the, in the product right. itself. They, Self. Both, both in terms of the, 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 the studio the, performance and the, and the live performance, performance. Of, 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 your, right. of your song. So them sister, we just have it. We have it. We can't come them like it, but come do it for we. Oh, and we're not able to no. deliver at that level. That's why I'm going to repeat again. Few of, few of the, the no generation can yes. go out there. Because sometimes it's just a performance I want to say, oh, and take note. Some people just go and get, you give them three lines out of a song, they say, what was that? You understand? Sometimes they say, which song was that? Me not push down nothing and fight nothing and ray, ray, ray. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, to, to the whole of the youth, then we had to do that thing, yeah. Because I was at a stage where I have to sit down. All right, may I tell you something? Years ago, I was at Penthouse. I believe it was 1992. Mm -hmm. I did a DJ and Ray 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 and Beris. Beris Aman come in and say, No, you're bad, you know, but you see, breathing, breath control, catch it. Make them not see when they catch breath. We can laugh and DJ and I'm a, and a boy, I don't see when I catch my breath. So there's still room to grow. Mm -hmm. You have some youth where they only know so they have some song I play, I go close the show. But oh, you're going to close the show. Yes. See, all right, you go out there and you do your thing and you do it. There's still room to grow. But now, burn out, I'm going to tell you them, say, just find a fault. Me did know my fault when me I come. So I go say, all right, you know what? Wait, 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 this and that. That's wrong, DJ. That's wrong. Me need to do that. Me need to do that. Me, the pan a show now with a with a beanie, a Capleton, a Spraga, a Ninja Man, a Killer. So me, when you have to start from the flyers, when we mm. look for a flyer and I say, all right, <laughs> see a gunman there, see a girl is there, see a culture man. Me know how to approach the crowd. Yeah. Me the pan a show with Wally Parasta man, me know how to approach it. Me know say, me can't go there, go go dark. I'm going to gun straight on the race, so you have to know that. Them little man, you know, them just go there, them read. You have to read the road. Mm -hmm. Street, read mm -hmm. the street. Me can never get boo off and it and never get clap off. Wait yeah. for if me go out, and go say, boof, 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 boof. And me see it now nah, work. Mm. Me go say, rock him. <laughs> and say, look ya, love you no, next time. <laughs> Some man a force forward. Okay. You have to able, you have to able to go on a stage, run on and don't get forward in the first song and build your show. Yes. It happened to the best of us. So, so what takes up most of your time now? Farming and, and bus business or, or music? <laughs> Everything. Right, yeah. now go, right now we are going to some other things. See? Yeah. Other things. Business, business Always a business. Always yeah. business. Music. I switch to certain things in a music. So you're going See? to now invest in music? No, I always invest in music. In but, your music? Yeah, but the thing is that now I use a different platform yes. to do certain things. I'm not going to say it now because I don't want the idea to go gossip. Okay. But we're going to come back and talk about this. But right, I'm always busy. Mm -hmm. If I don't find things to do from Ag Farm, racers, or bus where they call it, or some other things. <laughs> but I keep myself busy. So because the pig farm. <laughs> pig farm. Swine, man. You call them, what they call them? Mud push You're still yeah, man. rearing pigs. <laughs> you see it? And right. It's doing well, the, the farm? No, it makes me love it now. Because yes. I'm not there at Jamaica. Maybe it's because it pigs. Yeah. No, man. <laughs> I said it already two years ago, you know. Uh, yeah, man, it's a doctor. I've got to stop me from Clark's wine, man. <laughs> now, if a doctor tell me stop me, I've got to get a sucking up. The guy can't tell me that it's poor. No. You see me? But I'll back to the thing. You see? Yes. Music. Mm. My thing around music, when I when me got DJ, I me enjoy it. Same. So sometimes I don't even think about music. Me, when I me get up certain, I don't think about music. If I have a show for them, I just know. I don't plan a show. I never plan a show. I clash a DJ now. I know, say, all right, that's your weakness, that's your rare, rare, rare. And I still not go talk until when I left music and rare, I talk. Mm -hmm. But me, any opponent I deal with, I know how to deal with them. That's so, how you plan it, as you were saying yeah. earlier. You look at it, you assess it, it and then you, you, you have a strategy that you're going in. All right, let me tell you a thing. Yes. Every bad DJ will come out. I build song for them. Every bad You can clash any man right now? Any. Them know. Them know my track record. Well, speak we know that. We know, yes, you, you have Speak for itself. You said, me know. Yeah. Me not push it. But them know me. Mm -hmm. I know me good fat. Number one, me touch did me not, me not have no shame. Mm -hmm. And me ain't a friend. <laughs> when me touch stage, me ain't a friend. When it done, if you want to say Ray Ray. But clash thing now, me not really see it, I go nowhere. Because it's it more physical than lyrical. It's over now, isn't it? Me not think so. Me see some like a blank shot of fire, me, nah, Ray, mm -hmm. and then the man in turn friend after. You know? When we are and them a war, man, I years, mm -hmm. years what I... And no friendship. Me, no, half stage. Half stage. When they come up and say, hey, boy, Ray, the last lyrics are Wally Man Ray Ray. Second lyrics Ray Ray. Boy, you know, say Ray Ray. Not, but, just, but we keep it on stage. OK. You see, right. when they come up on stage, Fee man tarot, Ray Ray, bugger talking, but tomorrow morning a different thing. Mm -hmm. No, it's different. The music change. So, Cabra, I don't know what your business is in music, <laughs> what business you're thinking, but yeah. what you just said is, mm -hmm. is lacking in the music. Some of the, 
how to control, deliver. how to deliver, deliver. how to deliver, deliver. those things. Deliver. Wouldn't you be a very good coach in, in that respect? I know for you to bring around there, but when I call them, them know. When they do them interview, some of them mention it, but enough you to show things and tell So you're them. actually involved there? In enough of the big name them. Big name we run place and read. Okay. We tell them that and read them copy. Them copy things and Yeah, but you're okay. only giving them advice. You're no, not No, man, actually. Uh, you're not working in, in an official capacity as coach. No, no. I don't think I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. Me was, me was, all right, let me tell you right now. You see, like back in the days, as Mr. Berry said to Mr. Ray, I'm gonna take it as, you know. Mm. I know any one of them youth that you can come to and say, hey. You see that, that thing that you see, just lift your key lick, like, just relax. DJ to the best of your ability and relax. The more things say, I style you, I style him. Couple people hear you say that and say, oh, what? How do you do? Bad mind. You have some youth of a tech telling. Mm -hmm. See? You see when me go to studio for record, see Black Ademus, Liquor Chris, them, the whole thing, Ratigan, them when you sit down. It's a team effort. So, me a DJ, when me a do song, I'm going to put on the phone and go to me a DJ and come out, me not like that. DJ, you know, say, you could have said a line the better, emphasize on the word. Mm -hmm. or, or when you exit, lift the key, Ray Ray, drop your key there, so, Ray, you understand? Team effort, you have some money, you cannot tell that. You have some youth now, we have it. Enough of the youth, them have it. But, and you see the bad mouth thing, you see some man say, oh, them Ray Ray, not. music, the music, as I say again, the ball, no drop. Mm -hmm. Win for the, if them little money ever take that something. I remember back in the days, you know, there was no. Ray, 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 and press in mm. time and things reach next side of the world, you know. So that's what you meant by being easier. See, easier now. Because back in the days when you go and you do a song, um, Sonic Sound or Tough Gang or whatsoever, you go a Queerous record, is record them put in a box, 25 record hole in a box, mm. and them send that either via FedEx or whatsoever, go to Europe or anywhere. And then on a press button, when you are doing with, with interviews and Ray, Ray, you're glad when you see yourself on TV. Mm -hmm. Back in the days, be, you understand me? I said, easier now. So, them little man, all, all you them have to do. I just put, put more effort in them thing. Not only put it but in the boot, you put on a headphone array. Go out there, because you have to reach the, the music, you have to reach before you. you know. It's yeah. when you go there, you stand up and watch. No, for them and them, I do them yeah, thing. Yeah. And a few of them punch. And there's still room to grow. But here's where the, the technology is working against them. And, and that's, just to support your point for a minute here, mm -hmm. is that they can be assessed before they get there. Right. The record company doesn't have to come to Jamaica and walk no, around no. at night watching no. to see what you do. They go online and they search you up right. and they look at how you deliver. They listen and look at how you deliver physically, your, your stagecraft, mm -hmm. and they listen to your live delivery. Right. And they can assess whether they even want to talk to you. Isn't, right. that, isn't that it? Yeah. Right. Let me tell you something. Record company then and now. Back in the days, they come look as how we get you as people. Just, we don't know what they're watching you. Know. Mm. When them interested now you win them done this when you hear say them 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 interested them don't do what them are already. Mm -hmm. Flex, we not plan flex, flex I plane me I come I come back home from Jamaica I come back to Jamaica and write flex pan a spit bag. Mm -hmm. Then me plane and say well, the girl I do the solar flex things so I said that girl a flex like she want right? yeah. I'm gonna take up the little spit bag, you know the thing that look white red, mm -hmm. and jot it down upon it. Go to the studio and we'll do the night and we and slide the map play. Is a giggy rhythm them they play. Because them time the giggy rhythm around Jamaica and them go so boom boom boom. And the tape slow down. And I start mimic the slow movements of the tape. And it happened. Just imagine if them youth put in the same energy they from the 90s in a this technology where them have put okay. the work with the street team we are going now. You get some computer, you have some people, right now you have some youth on the computer, that alone them deal with. Boop, 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 get that, so boop, 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 you understand? Mm -hmm. So if the youth, them, I get the music out there and get assessed before them reach there. Anyhow, them take that thing they serious and go, all right. Sometimes a man go, i sure. And when him go so boom and walk out, the crowd, in the ram. Yes. Your, your, your venue will all all 3,000 when you're looking at it. You see, 1,005 hours ago. And your, your vibe drop. DJ like, if a one person stand up in front of you, DJ like, say, in the ram. Mm. Them little man, if them a DJ, and I get the foul. Them switch the song. People might like the second verse of the song. So it boils back down to what we are reason with. You market you, go there and deliver. Not do not two lines on a song and dash. People might like the second verse. Mm -hmm. 
and you know go to the hook, you know, come back to the ray. And most of them, them know say that me attack, and them know say the truth. So when are we likely to see these new things that you're hiding, that you're keeping yeah. under the, under yeah. to your chest? With God, it's even though me enjoy my life. Mm. Me, you have, me enjoy my life. Me can sit down and live off of memory and say, Ray, me do me. When we put on the microphone and come off of the stage, you at Brown. No, me tell you the new project. No, me tell you that. Okay. This is not me enjoy. No, me I get to that. Yeah, okay. me enjoy me. New product, me have that different. Mm. So when me come and say, Winford, Ray, 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 this and that, at that me I come to you with. Okay. So when you got a new product like you want, me say, all right, boss, you know, say. No, this one, uh, is it this, no, year, say. this year, next year, when? <laughs> Coming to a theater near you. Very soon. <laughs> right, okay. See? Other vibe, but me love what I go on so far. I'm grateful for the support. I'm glad, you know, say, um, Jordan considered me a couple of years ago, and even now. I'm grateful for the support. I'm glad for the response we get from the people in the media as well. Come and say, boy, you know, great way we like this and we like that. And, you know, I'm grateful for whatever them short. You understand? Bad cabra, as usual, sir. Now I get me for talk my business, man. <laughs> <laughs> we will, we yeah. will look forward to it. Yeah, man, it'll come, man. What is most important, not what you talk here, is yeah. what you do. Yeah. And we have to, yeah. and we're forced to yeah, report man. them. Yeah. That's what's important to us. All right, so there you have him right here on stage, the Mad Cobra of Dancehall. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. The Cobra said, keep the youths a blood and listen to them cry. The lows are for them, but them bang us some fire. And we in the dark, and I'm with them all a half. So more we have to get trust. The Cobra said, keep the youths a blood. And listen to them cry, me lose half of them and them. Now them a free in the dark, and I treat them all a half. So more we... What? Because it's the coming up, you want me try. Try. Hurt me for your team and the less you'd cry. Cry. System design for soon to discern a guy. Cry. It's all the earth, free the people, need not supply. Yes, Mr. A. Now give it up, lad. The bluff is in the youths, the battle. Blood gun on them, brain fly. The big question is why. The cabra said, give the youths a lie. And listen to them cry. The lows are for them and the buggers are I suspect you like that video. For more, click and be on our stage always.